The idea that the cosmos evolved also violates the second law of thermodynamics known as entropy. The second law states that as time advances, the universe becomes less ordered. Over time, all systems left on their own proceed in a direction from order to disorder. All of us witness entropy every day as we see things age and deteriorate. This breakdown of structure directly contradicts the theory of evolution. Now, the second law allows you to increase in order, like a baby growing into adulthood or seed into a tree. But if and only if you have an outside energy source and a harnessing mechanism to capture that energy. Evolutionists don't have that. As Sagan said, the cosmos is all there is, there ain't no more. There is no outside energy source, so the second law is absolutely contradictory to the Big Bang Theory. What we see in cosmology is this. Everything we see, things are running down. Stars are burning up their fuel. Once in a while, a star will explode and goes from order to disorder very quickly. But the only thing we see in the universe today is the universe is running down. It's deteriorating. It's going from order to disorder. It's going to less and less organization. There is an observation that scientists make in every field of science and it's generally called the laws of entropy. It's as if the universe was wound up somehow and is winding down. Scientists that study cosmology uh, talk about the ultimate heat death of the universe. Conceptually, it's quite clear from what we know that the universe ultimately sometime billions of years from now, everything will become of uniform temperatures. There'll be no difference in temperature to exploit to get useful work. That the universe had to be designed and ordered in the finite past has not escaped the attention of secular scientists. NASA scientist Robert Jastrow wrote, The second law of thermodynamics applied to the cosmos indicates the universe is running down like a clock.
if it is running down, there must have been a time when it was fully wound up. The next obvious question is, who wound it up? Gordon Van Wylen addressed the question squarely in his book, Thermodynamics, when he wrote, the author has found that the second law tends to increase his conviction that there is a creator who has the answer for the future destiny of man and the universe. We only see destruction, we never see innovation. And this, I think, is what the creationist model has been posing all along, that in the beginning, things were very good. They were perfect, just like God wanted. But then, as sin entered into the, to the universe, and God's curse on all of creation because of that sin, the wages of sin is death, not only in the physical life, but in the universe, everything is dying. The, the sun is burning out, the moon's orbit is decaying. Everything is in this process of death and decay. Evolutionists and creationists agree now that the universe is finite. Space and time and matter had a beginning. Beginning with the studies of uh, Albert Einstein in the early 1900s on through this century, scientists are in agreement that space, time and matter did indeed have a beginning. Twentieth-century science, embarrassingly, has confirmed the, the biblical view because the great discovery in cosmology is that the experts have agreed that the universe had a beginning. And the, uh, they call it a singularity. see the whole Big Bang idea really is first there was nothing and then it exploded. The fact that the universe is finite, that it had a start, is a, is a key fact, but a very, very awkward fact uh, for the evolutionist because it really raises an issue they won't deal with and that is what happened prior to that singularity. The creation model has always anticipated a finite universe. In the first verse of Genesis we read, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The Bible also states that time had a beginning. In 2 Timothy we read, God who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given to us in Christ Jesus before time began. <laughs> 